excited. We're almost ready to go to Jerusalem. Father says we'll be leaving in a day or two now. Uncle Daniel, how did you know that the king would let the Israelites go back to Jerusalem? I mean, how did you know several years ago? My father says you've been saying for years that just about this year we could go back. How do you know? How did you... Wait, wait, wait. I heard you. Oh, how did I know? I knew because Jeremiah the prophet told us so. He said that we would be held captive for 70 years and then would we be allowed to go home. How did Jeremiah know? Because God told him. He was a prophet of God. Are you all ready to go? Will you travel with us? Please do. Father said you could. Will you? Please? No, I'm afraid not, child. Oh, Uncle Daniel, why not? Child, all my heart cries out to return to Jerusalem. For you see, it was my home before Judah was conquered by Babylon. I was carried here as a prisoner of war. Though I've been treated kindly, first by the Babylonians, then by the Persians, I've not been a free man. Oh, yes. Yes, my heart aches to return. Then why don't you come? Please come with us, Uncle Daniel. I'll help you get ready. Son, do you remember last week when you raced me to the stable? Yes. I got there and ran back and you weren't even to the big fence. That's because you're old. Yes. Too old for the long journey. Too old for the work of rebuilding the house, city walls, the temple. I couldn't be of any help in Jerusalem. But you've already helped by getting other people anxious to go, even if they were born here in Babylon and never saw Jerusalem. The prophet Jeremiah helped too, didn't he? Because God told him when we could go. Yes, he did. Imagine, knowing what was going to happen before it happened. Uncle Daniel, you're a prophet. Did God ever tell you about anything that was going to happen? Well, of course. Don't you remember when Nebuchadnezzar had his dream? Oh, I remember about his dream and about the hand that wrote on the wall. But those things happened to somebody else first. Has God ever told you something first? Yes, yes he has. Oh, how exciting. What did he tell you and why haven't you told the people? Are you going to tell them? Are you? Now wait, wait a minute. One question at a time. First... God has given me visions or dreams that I didn't understand. I didn't want to tell the people until I understood what the visions meant. So I've spent a great deal of time in prayer and study trying to understand. And you figured them all out? No, no, I haven't. But one day, God sent an angel to me, and he did tell me the meaning of some parts of my vision. You really heard an angel speak? Oh, tell me about it. Well, it was like this. I was praying. O oh, Daniel, I am come to give thee skill and understanding, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore, understand that from the going forth of the king's commandment to restore and rebuild Jerusalem shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks. Then shall Messiah the Prince stand up and... So I learned that the Messiah is to stand up or begin his ministry 483 years after the decree to restore and rebuild Jerusalem. 483 years from now? That's quite a long time, isn't it? But it will be important, won't it? The most important event this world will ever see. Did the angel explain everything you saw in the vision? No. No, there's still parts I do not understand. I'm afraid I'll never understand it all. For the angel said, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the books, even unto the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. History has recorded how wonderfully all this came true. Gabriel told Daniel that after seven weeks, three score and two weeks, or sixty-nine weeks of years, the Messiah would come. 
exactly 69 weeks of years, or 483 years after the signing of the third decree in 457 B.C. for the Israelites to restore and rebuild Jerusalem, Jesus, the Messiah, was baptized. Gabriel had also said to Daniel, And the great prince Michael shall stand up, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting contempt. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. As the time of the end draws near and near, the book is being unsealed. People are studying and understanding God's plan as foretold to Daniel over 2,000 years ago. People are running to and fro. The world gets smaller as the means of transportation improve. Knowledge is increased in all fields. Communication, medicine, outer space, and other sciences, modern conveniences, and the secrets Gabriel told to Daniel are, now, at the time of the end, being understood. For surely our redemption draweth nigh. Soon all shall awake from the grave, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting contempt. <laughs>